Here are four signs God is protecting you from a bad relationship with a woman. Number one, if you start pursuing a woman, but then you realize she's not who she portrayed herself to be, this is a sign God is protecting you. A lot of times we question God when things like this happen and we say, why did you let me pursue this woman if you knew it wasn't gonna work out? Or why did you let me get my hopes up if you knew this woman wasn't who she was portraying herself to be? God wants you to mature as a Christian man, therefore he's going to treat you like a Christian man. So rather than treat us like toddlers, you know, when their parents are walking around, teaching them how to walk, basically manipulating where they go so they don't get hurt. God isn't going to treat you like that, especially as you are maturing as a man. Rather, he's going to allow you to use your faculties as a human being to walk with him in the way that he wants you to go. In other words, God isn't gonna micromanage your life because that defeats the purpose of making human beings. Rather, God wants us to mature as his image bearers and thus walk as he walks, applying his truths in our life as free agents who are willingly following God, not under his micromanagement. Don't get me wrong, certainly God will sometimes just tell you, that's a bad relationship, don't even start. But oftentimes, God reveals the truth through the actions that we take. He tells us to pursue sometimes as a way of giving us more information about this woman that we would never know unless we actually did something. Notice how God blessed the courage of Joab. If the Syrians are too strong for me, then you shall help me. But if the Ammonites are too strong for you, then I will come and help you. Be of good courage and let us be courageous for our people and for the cities of our God, and may the Lord do what seems good to him. He didn't know what was gonna happen. He just made a wise plan, committed it to the Lord, and went out and acted like a man, and God blessed his effort. Number two, if you start to see for yourself the concerns that your loving family and friends have shared with you, this is a sign God is protecting you. So a lot of guys fall on one side or the other, rather than finding a good balance when it comes to listening to other people and having good counsel. So some guys fall on the extreme individualistic side and they don't include anyone. They just are that lone wolf. They do what they're gonna do. They don't listen. They don't even have people in their life who could speak to them. And then on the other side, you have those people who just wanna be told what to do. They just want their pastor to say, yeah, do that, no, don't do that. And then they just mindlessly want to follow. As a man of God who's seeking to honor the Lord, you do need to see yourself as the ultimate decision maker in your own life, besides God himself, of course. But in biblical wisdom, you wanna take what other people are saying and humbly listen to that those warnings and advice, and then see if you see what they're saying. If you really don't see the things that they're saying, then you have to go with what you believe to be true. But in wisdom, we wanna, be, again, be humble, slow down, say, my friends love me, my family loves me, they're telling me something about this woman, I'm going to at least look at it with humble, genuine eyes to see if what they're saying is true. And if you then start to see that evidence that they're sharing with you, then that's a sign God is confirming their warnings. Proverbs 12, 15, the way of a fool is right in his own eyes, but a wise man listens to advice. Number three, if a woman leads you on, but then starts dating someone else, this is actually a sign God's protecting you from a bad relationship. Perhaps you and this woman were texting every day and it seemed like things were headed towards a relationship, but then all of a sudden she starts ghosting you and you realize, hey, she's dating someone else now. It'd be tempting to get bitter and mad about this situation, maybe to lash out or even get angry at God for not protecting you beforehand. But rather than get mad at God or this woman, you really want to look at the positive and say, God spared me of a relationship with a woman who seems unfaithful and wants to date around by showing me this sooner rather than later. At this point, the relationship hasn't gotten really that far. Yeah, it hurts now, but it would hurt a lot more if you got into a relationship with this woman and she kept acting in this player 
mentality way. And then you found out later after you've already invested more into this relationship that she's that type of woman. So you can take comfort that while God showed you that this woman was not the one for you, he will also show you when the right woman is there. Proverbs 19, 14, house and wealth are inherited from fathers, but a prudent wife is from the Lord. And number four, if the relationship just doesn't happen, no matter how hard you pray, no matter what you try, this is a sign God is protecting you from a bad relationship. So why won't God just give you that chance? Why won't this woman just give you that chance? You pray, you fast, you do everything you feel like biblically is correct. You do all the right steps that people have told you to do as you're interacting with this woman. No matter what you try, it just doesn't materialize for some reason. The best conclusion is to say that this relationship would not be good for you. This doesn't mean we have to always say that this woman is bad or that the you know the relationship would be immoral or toxic and you know unhealthy. Sometimes it's a bad relationship just because it's a bad connection between you two. And in love, God wants the best for you. And so he's not going to put you with a woman that he just knows isn't a good match. Matthew 7 11 states, if you then who are evil know how to give good gifts to your children, how much more will your father who is in heaven give good things to those who ask him? So the key phrase there for our context is good gifts. If God doesn't give it to you, you can conclude that it must not be good for you because he loves you and he wants what's best for you. For more relationship advice from a biblical perspective, specifically for Christian men, make sure you subscribe to this channel. I'm Mark from applygodsword.com. Until next time, God bless.